All right, I'm John Biggs, news editor at Coindesk. We're here at Consensus 2019 on the show floor. I'm going to walk you through some of the booths that are here. Uh, these folks came a long way to show off their amazing new tech, so it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, let's see what these guys are up to. You guys got a second? Hi. Yeah. Why are you wearing this jacket? Well, we're here with Atrium, which is a legal tech law firm, and we're the blockchain team here. Okay. So, are you allowed to wear that? Uh, are you allowed to wear that in the office? Because it's like what? It has to be business, right? Yeah. But I mean, we're a new, uh, new style lawyer, like and hip, yeah, we're hip, hip lawyers. Um, and of course, no such thing as hip lawyers. Silicon lawyer. Valley, where okay. you can actually wear jeans. So we're actually all from big law law firms where you're used to pretty much the stuffy collared shirts and tight pencil skirts. And I mean. We're a startup in and of itself, so. So, we, how's how's business going for for le for legal? It sounds like regulations probably taken off, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as you can see, and everyone here at the conference knows, sort of the regulatory landscape is really up and down, and, and new rules are coming out every single day. So that's where we really add value to our clients. Um, we help them navigate the regulatory landscape. We have sort of relationships with. All have you kept any of your clients out of jail? So far, none of them are in jail, so okay, that's a good, good sign. There we go. Good. Perfect. So you're, so you're, you're batting 1,000. All right. Perfect. Atrium, right? What's, yep. the, what's the website? Atrium is atrium.co. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, let's go over here. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing? Yeah. We're disrupting the digital advertising space. Go on. Uh, through permission-based uh, marketing, where consumers get paid for their time, attention, and data, and their privacy is protected. So how does it work? What are you, what are you doing? So effectively, if I'm a consumer, I would uh, log into the app, I would search for um, whatever it is I'm interested in, purchasing perhaps, and then I would uh, get rewarded for engaging with relevant content, um, like an ad for that product. All right, very cool. So it's permission.io? That's correct, yeah. All right, let's take a look at it. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's keep going. Little Waxman over there. Uh, let's see if we got somebody. Is this one of your guys back here? Can yeah, we bother him? Yeah, howdy, howdy. Hey, John Biggs with Coindesk. We're, uh, we're hassling people about what they're doing. Do you have time to be hassled? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, so tell us what you're doing. Well, so XY is a, a real-world oracle, so what we do is we collect data uh, from different devices, and then we can use our protocol to bind it to a blockchain so that we can always see the, the origin and the source of it in the time and space continuum, basically, so that we can have an audit trail for example, something, like say, for example, if you have ice cream that came to a store, you can see where it was all along, what the temperature was all along, so even if it was a little gooey, you can tell which truck driver or which warehouse didn't actually refrigerate properly. So there's lots and lots of uses for actually um, uh, having high confidence data. Uh, so we actually focus on confidence as opposed to accuracy, if that makes sense. Okay, so the so the, the goal here is tamper-proof proven data all the way up and down through like a supply chain or uh, I don't know, even like a message from a car or a message to and from people? Correct, any data that's generated in the real world. So the idea is it's kind of similar to witnesses. We call them bound witnesses. So the analogy we use is, imagine if each person in the world had to go around and every single person they bumped into, they had to take a selfie with them. Both people signed the selfie. So I always have proof that I was in relative proximity of that person. Now, uh, you say you did that for a month. Imagine that what I can tell from your history of that. Now, add to that sensor readings from each person. So besides just being a photo, say it said also on there what the temperature was, what the, um, how much light there was, how noisy it was, and so on and so forth. You can get a really good view of the world, and then we can tie this into a, a smart contract if we want to, or access it via an API. So in the smart contract case, we're a fully decentralized Oracle, which is really hard to build, actually. Hmm, interesting. All right, so uh, I, I don't, I don't want to get too deep, but I, this is actually pretty fascinating. What are these things? Are these worth a lot of money? Um, they're, they're, well, they're pretty expensive to make, <laughs> but um, <laughs> they're, um, they're uh, physical world representations of our token. So basically, it's an XYO uh, token, kind of like a physical uh, me uh, memento. Uh, I, that. I, th I think these were like uh, Internet of Things things, and then you could like eat them or something like that and figure out what, the, what your internal temperature is. Well, uh, we'll probably do that eventually. We have um, little devices uh, that we can basically put on your backpack or you can put on your um, anything you want this, to. This ring has a, like a heart rate and temperature oh. built in. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Bluetooth yeah, ring, basically, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, we have um, apps on our phones, for example, that we can use to actually talk, talk to each other. Um, so our system is basically built up with apps, with Pi Bridges, and with our little devices. So that's how we actually get all this data from the whole world. All right, super. What's the website? Uh, XYO.network.
Thank you. All right, let's do a couple more here. Oh, there's John Evans, a well-known uh, author in the uh, in the blockchain space. John. Nice meeting you here. Exactly. So, so right yeah. So what are you doing here? Why are you here? I'm drifting around and notionally reporting on it for TechCrunch, as <laughs> others have been known to do. How's the how's how's the blockchain business? You're you're programming a lot in it, right? I am actually. Is business booming. There's let's say there are green shoots. There are nibbles of interest. There were there weren't six months ago actually. There's, There's more nibbles of interest. Yes. Because you also do Happy Fun Corp, which is a dev shop. Correct. Yeah, and uh, people are actually contacting us about blockchainy stuff for the first time in a while after a bit of a dead zone in the last mm. six months. So. There do seem to be signs of some sort of renaissance there. Renaissance, all right, all right, very cool. All right, we're going to walk around a little bit, but I'll, I'll see you Good around. You. Okay. All right, uh, one more. Who are we going to pick? You look like you're bored. What are you doing? Hi. What, what's happening over here? Um, so we're at BlockFi. Um, what's up with you? I don't know. We're going to talk about what BlockFi does. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, John Biggs from Coindesk. Jake, nice to meet you. Yeah, so we um, we kind of think of ourselves as bringing some more traditional wealth management and banking products to the crypto space. Um, so we started with, two years ago we started, um, our first product was a crypto collateralized loan. So super high level, if you give us your coins, we can give you dollars in exchange, and at the end of the term of the loan, you get your coins back. So if you need cash for something, whether you're starting a business or building a home or whatever the case may be, but you don't want to sell that position, you can send us your collateral, we'll give you the, the cash, and at the end of it, you get the coins back. Um, our new product was the interest account, which just launched in March and has been absolutely booming for so us. So you put your coins in there and you get interest on it, or how does that work? Exactly, yeah. So if you deposit your Bitcoin, you earn 6% compounded, compounded daily. It's, com it's 6% compounded monthly. Okay. Yeah. It accrues daily and it's paid out once a month, and you get that 6%. Yeah. So I can, get, I can become rich. It's like a dividend, yeah. It's very right. simple. Very yeah. good. Yeah, why not? Otherwise, your coins are just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, exactly. You send it to us, you could be earning more Bitcoin. All right, let's do it. We're going to set it up. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. All right. All right. This is uh, this is the show floor. I'm John Biggs. Uh, we'll grab a couple more of these over the next few days. Uh, but this is Consensus 2019. Thanks for watching.